Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are playing on the Town Hall 9. This whole weekend I was gone. I was out of town in Charleston, South Carolina at my best friend's wedding, Brad. So I wasn't clashing that much. I wasn't really gaming at all. I was just hanging out with him, celebrating. So that was a lot of fun for me. But we're back on the Town Hall 9. We've got a lot of loot. We've got three builders available. And we're marching and we're doing pretty good. I'm going to show you guys some raid. Alright, so here's the first attack, guys, against Mr. Chinese Numerals. Whatever. Look at this. Almost 700,000 in loot, guys. Freaking ridiculous. The only thing is that there actually was gold in these storages, even though it doesn't really look like it. I mean, when you go and look at these mines, you can see that little treasure chest right next to it is full. That means that the mines are pretty much full. So we're coming in. We're thinking that's where all the gold is, but you're going to see that we're a little bit mistaken. Now, our archers and our barbarians are still doing work. They're still taking everything that we want them to take. And um, also, 4,000 Dark Elixir on this base? Are you kidding me? There's a good amount in there. Obviously, most of it's in there, and there's some right over here as well. So, uh, we're going to try and get that. We're going to use our queen. We're going to use our archers. Everything like that. We've gotten the majority of the loot so far. There's only 5,000 Elixir left. So I'm not going to go for uh, any more elixir. I'm not going to try and go for those elixir storages. What we need now is this gold mine right up here that we're sending all of our archers in on. They're going to go after that and take out the majority of that. There aren't any other gold mines on the uh, on the base right now. And you can see there's still 100,000 left. So there's about 20,000 in each one of those storages. Uh, about 25,000, a little more. Uh, and that sucks. It sucks that that's all in there because it looks like it's not. But we're going to drop off out the rest of our archers. Then we're going to drop off our queen because we really want to come in here, guys, and try and get some of this Dark Elixir. We've already gotten 1,300 Dark Elixir from that other attack. This archer tower right here is owning our archer queen. They're betraying their mother, guys. They're betraying their mother. So we're going to go ahead and take out this barrack right here. Then our archer queen is going to come over and do work on this Dark Elixir drill for us. Look at that. We're getting over 2,000. Come on. Over 2,000 Dark Elixir right there with barts. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is an awesome, awesome raid. Let's jump into another one, all right? Now, here's another raid that I found, guys, and this one, obviously, not that much gold, okay? There's an okay amount of, actually, there's a pretty good amount of Dark Elixir. 1,200 isn't bad. If I see over 1,000 Dark Elixir, I'm happy with it. But the reason I attacked this base was for the Elixir. Now, a lot of people are like, well, I mean, you can't use Barts to get in. Some people tell me to use, look at that. Oh, that giant bomb, though, wasting that Rage spell. A lot of people tell me to bring Wall Breakers with my Barts. Um, but generally, I'm not trying to attack bases that I have to get in the walls on. You know what I mean? Uh, if I want to get in the walls, then I'll bring giants and some barbarians uh, and some barbarians and some wall breakers to do that. But as you guys know, we're upgrading our giants now, so we are going to be getting some sweet gameplay very soon with that. But what we're doing is we're just using a standard barch, barbarians and archers. Very, very fast to train up. Super, super easy. Taking out a lot. Look at that. 186,000 elixir on that, guys, which it really isn't that bad at all. And we've got all these barbarians up here. We've got all these archers up here. All of our barbarians are about to run in. They're about to go to town on that dark elixir. Look at them. The archers are helping out. The barbarians are helping out. And they're going to go ahead and take all that out. So our barbarians, our archers, were able to get into the core of the base. We only missed out on two of the storages over here. Now, yes, there's still 120,000 or so elixir. We took out some of it right there. But for the most part, we got what we came for, guys. 1,200 dark elixir and almost 200,000 elixir for the cost of Bart, which isn't that expensive. That's why I love it so much. Sometimes people are like, Moe. Do you do anything besides barge? Well, when I'm farming, no, I don't, because I want to be efficient. If you guys want to be efficient at farming and you want to spend less and get more, use barge. Now, are there other strategies that work? Yes, because I know that some people are going to disagree with that and be like, well, this one time, I used all goblins and got 600,000 of each, so you should use all goblins. No, that's a very rare scenario. <laughs> barge is known for being an amazing farming strategy because of how quickly it trains up, so on and so forth. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get a live attack for y'all. I'm going to go ahead and search, and then we're going to see if we can find ourselves something to upgrade. I lied. We're just going to go ahead and upgrade right now. Let's upgrade this uh, cannon right here. 3,200,000, guys. Boom. I love the look of level 11 cannons. I think they look beast. Look how mean that thing looks. Woo! Let's go see if we can find ourselves another good base, all right? All right, guys. So from the look of this, looks like we got ourselves another collector raid. Woo! We got a lot of gold outside. You can see that these things are practically completely full. And then we've got those two little gold mines on the outside that we're definitely going to go ahead and take out. Uh, 570 Dark Elixir. Obviously not that good, but hey, I'll take it. I will let that add on to our Dark Elixir as we build up and continue upgrading our queens. So we're going to go ahead and take out the majority of that stuff, guys. 
and I'm playing on my phone right now, so it's pretty hard to double tap uh, just because of how small the screen is, but we can still do it. We can still take out the majority of the loot. Uh, we want to take out this gold in, uh, in this storage right here. Even though it is a low-level storage, it obviously is still holding gold. So it looks like there's about uh, 20,000 or so in the core of the base unit. Let's just go ahead and see if we can get our barbarians up in there, and then maybe our archers, if we can take out this mortar, which those archers just, just did, sweet, then we should be able to get up in there with the barbarians. Oh, yeah, we got a big herd coming in. Oh, no, yes, archers, please. Archers, take out that mortar. No, why aren't you focusing on that mortar? Please take Oh, look, <laughs> that mortar is shooting that almost dead barbarian up there. Nice, we're definitely going to come in here, take out the rest of that gold. That was epic. Their queen is down. Let's see if we can take their king. Come on, archers, take out the king. Take out the king and then take out the gold. Look at that. So, how, how the heck do we have so many troops in here still? Look at all those barbarians. I feel like we might even be able to get the town hall on this. Nice. That means we're definitely going to get all the gold, guys. We're not going to get all the elixir because we can't make it over to those. But, hey, look at this. Come on. Take it out. I don't really care about taking out the town hall, honestly. Let's see if they can do it, though. Are there any left? Oh. No. <laughs> 61 gold left. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Now, hey, that wasn't bad. 262,000 gold, 198,000 elixir. Yes, please. All right, so what can we do with this elixir? Um, with this elixir, we could upgrade this. No, all right, so we can't upgrade that. Uh, definitely can't up. Well, we could upgrade some walls, but I don't really know if I want to do that because after we research our giants, which are going to be done in five days, um, oh, closer to six days. Then we can upgrade our dragons after that, our healer, um, some of our spells, etc. So I'm probably not going to use elixir on walls, but I think that's going to be it, guys. That was great. We showed a lot of loot in this video. We were able to upgrade that cannon down there and just get another really, really good raid. Can we upgrade uh, like our any of these things? No. All right, so our traps are maxed. No, they're not. They're not maxed. What are you talking about? Mo so we can't upgrade those yet. Um, where where are our little bombs at? I don't. I really don't think we can upgrade any of our traps. They're all high enough now to where it's over a million easily for each one of them. So that's where we're at. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Really, really do appreciate it. Um, as many of you may know or may not know, I'm heading to Finland tomorrow um, on Monday for about eight to nine days. Gonna be hanging out with Nick, Pat, Galadon, all of them. So if you guys are excited for that, if y'all are excited to see them, y'all are excited for the vlogs and stuff. Make sure you hit the like button on this video, and I'll see you on the next one. You know what to do. As always, make sure you keep calm and your class on for me, right? Peace.